One of our group selections of art was the piece A Drink of Sasso. This art offers a visual imagery of truth and creativity. This work of art is unique through the specific imagery and symbolism that the artist is trying to depict towards the viewers of his art. El Anasu is a world-renowned sculptor from Ghana. His sculpture specifically focuses on cloth wire and other unique scrap metals. A Drink Asasa is one of El Anasu's prized sculptures. The artist uses alcoholic bottle caps to use his medium within his art. This sculpture shows dark colored and funerary attire with specific bright hues. The work of art symbolizes that the piece of art shows the beauty, even when some people of society might not think is trash. At first glance, this art can be visually simplistic. However, at a closer view, we can notice that this art offers precision with an intricate layout, depicting different movements. We can visualize hundreds of tiny bottle caps, specifically by color and the correct spots, to make the whole piece come together. This is how this piece creates order out of chaos. This means the art also offers beauty and shows us how simple beauty can be in a giant sculpture. This art can also provide inspiration by displaying the audience to the audience that anything can be art even when someone consider it garbage. Psalm 104 verse 24 says that we, that we are the result of God's creativity and that we are created to do good work. Similarly, Isaiah 64 verse 8 also talks about being the creation of God and likeness humanity to clay, which he shares with his hands. By, by being creative, we are honoring God just as he was being creative when he made us. The piece, A Drink of Sasa, is very abstract, but it is clear to see his creativity at work. Everything is placed intentionally so that it all comes together to look beautiful. Something that us as Christians can connect through the sculpture is this, the symbolism and imagery that can be resembled through the eyes of humanity. We believe that the symbol the art is trying to capture is the way that God sees everyone. Everyone is unique and with a purpose. Just like the sculpture, the artist used what humanity would be considered trash. God uses the poor and the beggars as distinct children of God for a purpose to create beauty in this world. The sculpture, at first glance, does not give much information about the perspective or meaning that the artist is trying to display. To depict an image that allows the beholder to internalize and formulate independent denotations. El Anasu uses the aesthetic philosophy of formalism. Formalism in art is a critical approach that focuses on the formal qualities of a work of art, such as its composition, color, line, shape, and texture, rather than its subject matter or narrative content. Anasu prioritizes elements like abstraction, geometric shapes, and non-representational forms to give insight into aesthetic completion in the eyes of the viewer. One of our paintings was Gin Lane by William Hogarth. Hogarth created Gin Lane in support of what became the Gin Act of 1751, a UK act of the Parliament passed to reduce the uncontrolled production and sale of cheap gin. This piece of art offers us a chance to look at things from a different perspective and shows us how broken a society can be. In this painting, we see a scene of total debauchery. This painting depicts a town where cheap gin is sold to homeless people. We see people drunk on the streets and laying in the ground. The art depicts people and animals chewing on bones. It depicts people being put into caskets and being wheeled off the streets. We see babies being thrown and people starving. This is not a life that anyone would want to live, and this painting helps show us that. It shows us that taking advantage of vulnerable people affects a whole society. Now, what this art should be about as Christians is this piece of art shows us, as Christians, how sinful in nature human beings are. We see society turned away from righteousness and acting in the flesh. We see chaos and death where order in life could be. This shows us that Christians that we should act in Christ-likeness instead of acting in the ways of the world. This painting depicts a lot of death, even a small child being thrown. This shows us the sinful ways of the world and living in that only brings about death and chaos. This tells us as Christians that only God can bring order out of chaos. 
and that the fighting in this painting shows the anarchy and chaos of the society. The rundown buildings show the poverty and homelessness in the rundown town. The drunkenness of the careless mother dropping the baby depicts the neglect that is this society has toward future generations of the world. The dogs in this painting show the anger of this society. The people lying on the ground show their drunken star state. The back being lighter than the front shows us the difference between classes, and that's what we can see from this painting.